what's going on good people so this is the 2020 China brand go ahead and say it CT 125 four-wheeler in the last video we got this thing running we rode it ran pretty good and we had someone that was going to give it to their grandkids the ride and gave it to them and stopped cranking so this is what I found. So this thing has a chain driven starter. The chain runs off of the starter gear around to the back of the uh, flywheel. And the chain broke. And I know the reason why it broke because you can see some rust on the links what happened was if you remember if you go back and watch the first video you can see the cobwebs in there this thing didn't have this cap over the cover and it rained in there and you can see a little rust on the flywheel so I believe the chain had a little rust spot in it on one of the links and uh you want to crank it, it cranked and then it shut off and the chain broke. It's a little dinky chain. Just broke the link right there. It's got some chain guides. They're made out of plastic. It won't come out of there. I have to get up. Oh, there we go. So it's got guides on each side, that guide it looks worn, it's like some black stuff in there, that's probably from the chain rubbing it. So I ordered a new chain off of Amazon, it came with the chain, the crankshaft seal, the gasket, and some guides, let's see if we can get this uh, out of the packet. Just some rubber. It's got metal on the back side. The chain guide. You can see how much that's worn. Just look at that. Worn pretty bad. Let's see if we can lay it up here. So that guy was worn anyway. So it could have just been a combination of the chain just rubbing this rubber guide got loose and it popped off. Or it could have been the rust. But there's one on each side. I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver to get that one. But there's the other one. Right there. So we're gonna get the new chain. Real small chain. We'll get it and uh, get it back on there. Put the new guides. And this didn't have a gasket on the cover, but we got a new gasket crankshaft seal. I'm not gonna worry about the crankshaft seal because this thing don't have that many hours on it. You go back and watch the first video. There was a piece of metal that shot through the head that bent the valve. That caused it not to run and so we're just going to change the chain and the guides put the cover back on we'll get all those cobwebs off there get the cover back on and get it fired back up and his grandkids can enjoy it for the rest of the summer so let me uh, get this other chain guide out and I think I might have to remove the starter. I might have to remove the starter to put that chain on. It's got a gear reduction starter on it. It's got a couple bolts on the 
I already had the starter out, so it's just kind of sitting in there because it was just zinging. That's a ground wire. So I might have to pull that starter out or pull the starter gear off to put the chain back on. Not really sure yet, but you guys will be the first to see it. So let's get this other chain guide out of here. I'm going to replace both of them. That one's got some wear on it. So I'm wondering, should we put the chain on first and then the guides? That's the new chain. So I'm thinking if I can slide it Flywheel, maybe get it up on the starter gear first. I hate to take the stator, I mean the flywheel off, and put the chain on, but I might have to, but try and get it. I don't think it's going to work like that. It's going to be super tight. The only way I think it would work if I take the starter out take this gear off, put it on the gear put the chain on the gear and then put the starter back in. Other than that it's going to be pulling the Flywheel off. I don't know what these three Allen head bolts are for. It's not a. Well, it's got a one way bearing on it. Look at that. So it does have a one way bearing on the back of that. Flywheel that goes inside of the. starter gear there so I guess I'm just gonna slide I'm gonna take this gear off here slide the starter back and just hold the gear and slide the starter back through there I, I, I guess that's the only way to do it I really don't want to fool with taking that uh Nope. 
I had to get some. Smaller snack drink flies. It's got that little bitty snap ring on there. Take that gear off. I'm gonna slide this starter back some. Get some more light on the situation. Should be able to uh, take this starter gear should I put the tension there I mean the guys in there first but that'll, that'll put too much tension on the chain tight fit for that little chain. Let's just wait on the uh, starter gear first. Let's just so I don't see how it's supposed to Oh it's a one way bearing so it's you gotta turn it the opposite. I might have to end up taking this flower off. Number one has got to go between here, between where the little plastic guide go. I can only turn it that way. Well, what if we put it on there, turn it? I'm just gonna get all caught up. Man, you can't turn it back the other way. Well, you can. You gotta turn the whole thing. Sorry it's taking me so long first time doing this. Alright, let's see if we can turn. See it won't let it turn all the way. It's getting caught up. So we're probably gonna have to take the stator off. I mean the flywheel. This is not going to let it come past that little spot on the block. Ah. So let me get some T 
tools. Hopefully this this uh, flywheel comes off there pretty easy. If I can get that chain up under that tab though, it'll work. No way. Maybe it'll just slide right off of this. Oh, uh, you gotta have a special puller to screw on there to push that off. Hmm. I got one though. So I say we put all this crap on there. We put the starter gear back on. Or should we? Well, I think once we get the, the flower off, we should have slack in the chain. I can't believe that chain runs between there like that. Too big. I'm trying to get some better lighting here. I can see the threads. Is that better? I think I got a bigger one. Like 
It's got threads on there, so you gotta have that puller to go over the inside of the flywheel. And I don't have one that size. I wish I can get that chain to slide right over. It just won't catch it. it won't get past that indention on the block. They put it so close. So, we're gonna have to get this flywheel off of there. And I don't have nothing to pull it off with. Unless I can use a three jaw puller, that might work. That's going to be our best bet there. Jeez. Use this puller to uh, pull that off. So I'm going to put the nut back on so we won't mushroom the end of the crankshaft. That'll suck. Oh man, that's, I don't even have a nut on one of them. Shouldn't be on there that tight. See, that's going to be something big. End of that thing is kind of wore out.
That's why you always want to put the nut on there. Because you can mess around and mess up the end of that crankshaft. Let me get the three jaw part and put on there. I didn't think it was going to be this serious. that don't pull it off, I don't know what will. some pressure on there, that's for damn sure. Still not coming off of there.
socket stuck up on there now. Well, let me get a good hit at it. There it goes. Popped in. Now I gotta get to get that off. Take a little brute force. Yeah, one way bearing. So if you're changing one of these, you gotta pull that flywheel off. Get you a good three three draw puller, or you have to have the puller that screws on these threads that pushes against the crank. I got one, but it's too small. Let's see if we can get the guys back in there. It's kind of like a timing chain. I guess you need to put some lube on that plastic guide to get it back inside of that slot right there. little PB blaster There it is. Now we can put make sure your keyway lines up or your uh, wood woodruff key.
See, when you turn it that way, it won't rotate the engine. It's a one-way bearing, so. I guess that's how it goes. Kind of looks like it's sticking up a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of on the sides. But I can't get it out of there. You know what? We're going to leave it be. Leave it be. Uh, let's see, where's our... One of them deals where you get the nut off and then it won't go back on. Look at that. I think it got mushroom a little bit. It's on there now. Now I gotta put the snap ring back on for the starter gear. Oh, what's up, my light today? I can't. That's back on. That's back on. Get the cobwebs out of the stator. Get some air pressure blowing it out. Tighten the star up. And she should be ready to fire up. We also got a new gasket. For some reason it didn't have a gasket. It will now. And I wouldn't recommend putting silicone on it because if you had to take this back off, gasket torn, I wouldn't put any silicone on it. Not unless your kid's gonna be Riding this real deep mud. Should be fine. Plus silicone help hold the gasket on there at least. Like I'm having trouble now. A little dab of grease or something. Sorry, I need more space, y'all in my way. Oh, let's just put it back on there.
we're gonna have to put something on there. Alright, it's all back together. Let's see what it cranked. Hopefully that chain solved the problem and uh, the kids can enjoy it for the rest of the summer. Send it back home now, and uh, the kids can hopefully enjoy this summer. They like to work in this. I still didn't fix the tail light, but he wasn't worried about that. It needs a whole new tail light coming in, but uh, things still purrs like a kitten. So anyway, I hope y'all can uh, take this and figure out why. The starter is just turning over and not turning the engine over because your starter uh, chain might be broken and it's not turning the engine over. So. If you got one of these aftermarket uh, four wheelers I think the dirt bike is the same way, like I said, if it just the starter is just zing zing, it can mean that the one way bearings either bad on back of the uh, flywheel or your starter chain is broken. So we're going to get this thing shipped back and like I said, his grandkids can enjoy it for the rest of the summer. So like, share, subscribe and we'll holler at y'all later.